Do you need constant reminders to drink your daily allotment of water? Then this video may be for you. We're going to be looking at Ice Water's new smart water bottle. Hmm, that's strange, a smart water bottle? This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, other household items, and once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY stuff just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now you know what? Let's open up this ice water bottle and see what a smart water bottle even is. So I purchased this smart water bottle off of Amazon, but I first saw it on the Bulbhead website. I just wanted to get it here a little quicker, so I purchased it off of Amazon. It was around 20 bucks, but you can also get it at the Bulbhead website. Um, this is a three-in-one smart water bottle. So what does it do? Well, it's got your water, you can drink, it turns colors every hour to remind you to drink. It also has a built-in um, Bluetooth speaker. So let's take a look at it. All right, so right off the bat, I see some directions. I see a USB charger, and then I have my water bottle. Now, this is made by a company called Ice Water, and from what I understand is, um, when you turn this on, the water bottle will actually glow. Every hour, it'll change colors to remind you to drink some water, but it also is a Bluetooth speaker for, I guess, if you're outdoors, riding your bike, or whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge this up, we're gonna test it out, and see what do I think of this. Now, like I said, this is only 22 ounces of water, so you're gonna need to make sure you fill this up a couple of times to get your water allotment in for the day, but this is our first look at Ice Water Smart Water Bottle. The red light in here tells us that it's charging. When it's done charging, that light will actually go off, so let's check in on this in about an hour or so to see what we have. Tell me something. Do you need to be reminded to drink your daily allotment of water? Let me know in the comment section down below. Is this something that you would use because, hey, you just don't remember to drink your daily allotment of water? Let me know. I want to go over a little bit of the programming of the Bluetooth um, for your phone. So all you do is hold the on button so it turns on. And so what that does is it actually notifies to your phone that there's a Bluetooth signal that's out there. And I'm gonna post a picture of what it says. It actually says smart water bottle. And you just click on it really, really easily and then it syncs right to your phone, no problem. Now this is a typical um, USB powered or Bluetooth powered speaker, okay? So I've got my little charger port here, micro USB charger. And then I have the plus, I have the minus, I have the play and I have the pause. All right, so a couple different things. If you hit the, the plus button, you're skipping ahead in the track. So if I just click, 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 I'm skipping ahead songs. Or minus, I'd be going backwards songs. Now, if the volume I need to adjust, I need to push and hold. So if I want to lower my volume, I push and hold the minus until I get to my level. If I want to raise it, I push and hold. Now, play and pause are simple. Push play to play, push pause to pause. But also, if you want to change the lighting on here, you press and hold the pause. So there's a few things that are written in the directions um, that I just explained here, but I wanted you to know the workings of the Bluetooth speaker itself. Here I'm showing you what it looks like when you're listening to music with this device. It blinks, it changes colors. It's really neat how it actually flows with the music, it looks cool at night or in the dark. I've been using the Ice Water Smart Water Bottle for the past day and a half or so, and I'm going to let you know a little bit of my experience, but first, let's listen to how the speaker sounds. This is Jeff. Oops, let me do it again. Hello there, there YouTube. Goes. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and if you like this video so far, I would love it if you clicked the like button below. No, I'm not an expert ventriloquist. That was me recording a video of myself doing that from earlier. And the little glitch you heard at the beginning was I, I must have hit pause and play. That's not necessarily the speaker. The speaker actually plays through pretty nicely. Um, so it took about two hours, or a little over two hours to charge this. And I got about seven to seven hours and maybe 15 minutes of playtime with 
the strobe light going and with the speaker going. I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, I'm not sure if over time that'll decrease, but for my first couple uses and, and out of this day, I thought that was really, really nice. The sound quality is good. It's clear, typical of what you would hear in a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, remember the speaker's only this, just this little tiny thing here. So you should note that. All right, so a couple of things about this water bottle. I really like this cool feature where you pop it and you have your quick access to the water. But the problem is I did notice sometimes I would leak water if I poured it here. Now, it's not always, but sometimes this if this would tip, water would also fill. Oh, you can see it leaking there. Water would fill in the cap and it would get really, really frustrating. So for me, I think that you should definitely keep it at least in an upright position if you're riding your bike. It makes sense, um, but I just thought you should know that. There's a lot of cool features here, but that one was one that really, really annoyed me. Now, I'm going to um, show you different things about this. So the base here pops off. This is where your speaker is. And so this part of the water is dishwasher safe. This part of the water bottle, excuse me, is dishwasher safe. So you can wash it on the top or bottom rack. It doesn't really recommend a difference. I always put them on the top rack, but if you can't fit it, that's up to you. This part should never be in the dishwasher at all, and that's why it's a separate device. Earlier in the video, I talked about the three-in-one feature. I'm going to reiterate that again. The three-in-one is you have the Bluetooth speaker, you have the strobe light or the light function, and then you have the water bottle. It's pretty neat. Um, every hour, it does glow a different color, um, so you know, you're know you notified to drink your water. Cool concept. A lot of neat things. My favorite part, to be honest with you, is the speaker. I'm going to find the most use out of this. Like I said earlier, this water bottle is kind of little as far as drinking water for me because I drink probably three or four times this water in a given day and, and this amount of water. And so you're going to be having to fill this up over and over and over again um, just to get your daily allotment of water. But pretty neat. Nonetheless, 20 bucks either on the Bulbhead website or uh, I'm sure it'll be at Walmart soon, but I got this one at Amazon.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. If you like this review of the Ice Water Smart Water Bottle, you might also like my review of the Gotham Steel Sandwich Maker. I did this one not too long ago. Make some sweet Hot Pocket style sandwiches in here or pies or whatnot. I would love it if you go check out this review video right up here. I'll see you over at the Gotham Steel Sandwich Maker.